Hey friends, we are back live again for the second time today on here. Y'all gonna get tired of me, but that's okay because this is it. This is the last time y'all have to see me for tonight. Um, so I'm gonna be painting this here with y'all. I've already put my base coat down for my background here. This was actually one of our designs last year in my inside scoop group. And I think I'm gonna change it up a little bit. So what you see on here is this right here is a lemon with a leaf. And then up here on the top was a lemon slice. But I think I'm gonna make this lemon slice look like a watermelon. Since I've got it sketched, this was supposed to be like the center, like the slices of the lemon. Um, or sections of the lemon. I think I'm just going to make those big old watermelon seeds and then of course do our flowers. With the lemon, the flowers, and then the watermelon, don't think I want a whole lot going on in the center, so I think I'm just going to wipe, I mean, not whitewash it, but antique it up with some um, dry washing. Dry brushing, y'all, dry brushing. <laughs> so, um, just to give it a little bit of a different look, and still it's gonna have that whimsy but farmhousey look to it that I try to go for. So hey Terry. Um, hey Miss Brenda, Miss Teresa, Michelle. As you hop on here, tell me hello. Hit that little button down below as always. Take me across Facebook Facebook and spread me around, y'all. Help me help a girl out. Help a girl out. So my base coat was antique white. I'm just gonna pull y'all down real quick. Let me show y'all something real quick. Look at how cute this turned out. And look at all the glitter. Look at all the glitter on there. So this was one of my designs for my template club. I have been forgetting to tell y'all that if you don't wanna join the inside scoop for $40 a month, you can join just my template club for $20 a month and you get three templates each month with one tutorial of one of those um, templates from um, the boats in there. So, hey Sue and Tanya, Miss Lynn, hey Jessica girl. Um, I just love how y'all, I keep on seeing like some of the same names. Y'all ladies, Lord knows, thank y'all so much for hopping on here and supporting me. I appreciate y'all so very much. Um, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to do some antiquing, just doing a little bit of a dry brush here with some brown on here, and then we're going to move on, we're going to get the rest of this going. And while I'm doing this, y'all can kind of just be watching, and hey, Deetra, you want this one, girl? It's in the inside scoop. So the template is available to you, honey boy. All Miss Mary says we'll catch re replay out celebrating my granddaughter's graduation. Yay, that's so we celebrate right there, girl. Congratulations. <clears throat> oh, thank you so much, Terry. That is so sweet for you to say. All right, so I'm gonna dab it. Y'all, my face is red. My crazy husband has my kids out there at the ball field and it's 90 something degrees outside. He gonna take us out, y'all. He gonna take us out. And it's gonna be on purpose. He's gonna do it on purpose. All right, so I'm just gonna dry brush some of this brown across here. And I'm gonna really hit my edges. He's trying to kill us. That's what he's trying to do. original color I started with for my base and I'm going to like hit over that to try to lighten that up a little bit um, 
And again, that was the antique white by Apple Barrel. So I'm going to grab it right now before I forget. I'm just going to hit that a little bit. But if you don't want to do that, you can always buff that like with a little piece of sandpaper and it'll take that darkness right off. But sometimes when you do this, it kind of changes the color just like it's doing right now. I don't like that, so we're going to let that dry. Then I'm going to kind of get that off a little bit with the sandpaper because I think that's a little bit too dark there. If you don't quite see what I'm talking about, see that dark spot there? That ain't working, ladies. I don't like it at all. I'm getting nice tan. Whew, I don't know if the tan's worth it. Again, I am 39 years old, y'all, and I know that's not old. I know that's not old, but I mean, some days I feel like I'm old, y'all. Just being real, but... I cannot take the heat like I used to. Like, I used to lay out all day long. I'm not talking about just for 30 minutes. I mean, literally all day long out in the sun. I'm just gonna stand it a little bit, y'all. And I was fine. Like, it did not bother me at all. But now, I'll be about dead. I about feel like I'm dying. And my husband's 50, and I, I just, I don't know how he does it. Because I will be laid out if I was 50 up out there and not heat. It's too much for me. It is too much for me. But I used to do it all the time. Okay, let's go ahead and put a white base coat on here for the women because it's yellow. Y'all know yellow is one of those colors that's aggravating to try to cover. So we're going to go ahead and put us a white base coat down here. I'm just going to kind of use this flat tip brush like I would my angle brush. Just press it down. So I didn't know if I was going to make it live or not, y'all, because I'm telling you, it took me a little while to kind of get cooled off and I feel like my face is still red. <laughs> oh Lord. I'm so glad he's not on Facebook to hear me say that kind of stuff because he would he would give me a hard time about that. Alright, we're just face coating right now. So let's talk about the inside scoop. Of course, y'all, we gotta talk about the inside scoop because I don't want you to miss out. Um, so each month, what I do is I give you two different designs and I will go live in the group each month showing you how to paint each one of those tutorials, each one of those tutorials, each one of those designs. And then, before I show you how to paint those, I do a tutorial showing you how to actually use a jigsaw to get those two designs cut out. On top of the two designs that you're going to be getting each month for the inside scoop, you're also going to be part of the Creators Haven Template Club. And that is a group where I give three printable templates, the same one I was just talking about that you can join if you don't want to join the inside scoop, um, but three printable templates with one tutorial for one of those templates. So you're getting five templates each month in the inside scoop, and you're gonna be getting three painting tutorials. A cutting tutorial, live Q&As, challenges, um, what else do we do in there, y'all? It's just a whole, a lot of fun. Can y'all hear me and see me okay? I feel like my air conditioner has gotten loud. But y'all, if I faint, I got to turn that sucker back on. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and let's get, let's get our watermelon going. But it's, um, <coughs> like I said, it's $40 a month. I'm getting sidetracked here. Y'all, I'm trying to figure out exactly what I want to do here because I'm not exactly sure. But it's $40 a month and you will get everything I talked about 
along with an amazing community of ladies who are excited to learn each and like each month who's excited to like try to start a business and take their creativity and their talent to a whole new level with online paint parties online um like just like etsy taking their business online with selling it so it is super duper fun to watch some of those ladies in there just blossom um some of them started out like not really knowing exactly if they were going to do this as a business or not and now like they are they got an etsy shop going they got their facebook business page going and y'all it gives me all kind of like good feelings when i see one of my insiders like doing a live like doing a daggone live y'all i have been so impressed with some of those ladies in there that has jumped on like full force no fear anywhere and just doing it doing the dang thing so it's almost like i'm one of those super proud mamas because i really am they are they are an amazing group of ladies and it's it's amazing to be part of i'm just so glad that they chose me to tag me along their journey because that's exactly what it is, is it is a journey, a journey of its own to where, you know, you're starting something new. It's an adventure, really. Hey, Jenny. Hey, Jan. Christine just posted a link in the comments if y'all want to join. Y'all hop on over and come join us in the scoop because we will absolutely love to have you. I'm thinking blue flowers um something crazy blue flowers and you want to do yellow flowers blue and yellow we have oh no we got yellow here with the, the lemon let's do let's just do all blue y'all want to just do all blue we're going to do all blue flowers so we're going to start off by doing this little flower here these are already sketched on here. This is one way that you can get your designs from Home Creations. So if you're not comfortable with cutting, you can order your designs for the group um, from Home Creations. They have sizes from four inches all the way up to 24 inches. 24 inches is my go-to size because y'all, I like the big door hangers. Um, I've always done the big door hangers. Everybody's always complimented the size of my door hangers when I used to sell them on Etsy. They were like, oh, you can see it from the road. And so it just kind of stuck with me. And anytime I make one, more than likely it's going to be at least 24 inches big. Um, the bigger, the better, right? So, but with Home Creations, you can order any design, any design as like an attachment. You can get the design sketched or not sketched. You can also add 3D elements to it, which is like the wording or if any specific design that we have for that month actually has something that I asked them to do the 3D attachments for it. You know, it's added on there. Super fast shipping. They use Birch, which if you've watched me for a little while, you know. Birch is my go-to wood. I love Birch. I just set my booty down, y'all. Um, you love your 3D letters? Yes. Hey, Cynthia. Hey there, Maggie. Is that Maggie? Sorry, y'all. I'm blind Eva. Margie. I am blind even with my my contacts here. Um, I'll go over that one more time with another coat of that blue. We're gonna do some very simple 
flowers. I want to do a different kind of flower, y'all. Maybe we can do this flower. Ooh, there's a clunk. Maybe we can do this flower and just add a center to it. Let me show you what I'm talking about because we did a design this month in the inside scoop where I did some kind of kind of funky flowers, but they turned out super, I loved them. I thought they were great. But we did these flowers. See how bright and how they pop? But it's just the, the pink and then the orange in the center. So I think I'm gonna do that because I really, really do like that. Instead of doing the typical, let's see, do I have any flowers painted anywhere? I'm not seeing any flowers painted anywhere of anything I've got. Huh. Oh well. Oh well. So I think that's what we're going to do. And y'all, let's do a apricot. I think apricot or either, yep, yeah, I was about to say, or either this one, but they're both apricot. I think apricot would really probably pop on that. What do y'all think? I think it will pop. Um, now I'm going to add my green rye. Should I do green or should I do black and white? I'm going to do green. I'm going to do green. I'm going to do the lime tree and then I'm going to add a darker green. Well, you know, I'll probably just do a swirly little line in there. That's what I do. I'm going to do a swirly little line. Hey Rhonda, hey Michelle. But y'all, today is the absolute last day to join the scoop until August. Um, where did I get brown paint from? Oh, over there, duh. Until August for September. So this will be actually a really good thing to do while your kids are home because you can learn how to cut or either order them from Home Creations and y'all can do them together. Like if you order them from Home Creations or either if you cut them, because I do provide you the JPEG image so you will have that available so you can resize it. But you can cut one for you and then you can cut one for your kid and do a mommy daughter day or either a mama son day. And just have fun with each other painting. And then you will also have a tutorial to go along with it. So. It's a win-win, y'all. Hey, Tammy. Hey, Miss Bonnie. Hey, Miss Marie. Oh, Miss Susan. I was, I'm just going to come on. I'm going to put my green right here, y'all. We're going to take that up. I got on my red right there, but it's okay. It's definitely gonna have to have another coat right there. <coughs> because I got on my red. Like I said, it is forty dollars a month. You're not obligated to stay. You can cancel anytime. Anytime you get ready to cancel. Um, let's see. Do I want to do dots? I'm going to do dots on the... I think I'm going to do dots on the lemon. Or do I want to do dots in antique? I'm not... We'll see. We'll, we'll see. I'm not going to do dots on, my, on here. But if I did do dots, I can kind of do that. I'm going to do dots right here, y'all. Let's get, let's get a, let's just get a, like a, we're going to mix some white with that red and make a, or dark. Let's do dark. I'm going to use this flamenco red and we're going to do some dots inside of this. Because right here, since I got it etched, and this was supposed to be the lemon, it's got an etch dot right here. So I'm just going to play this off, y'all. Um, 
I'm gonna use this flamenco red. We're gonna do a dot right there to make it look like that. that's why that's there. And then we're gonna just play it off and we're gonna add dots everywhere else just like that can y'all see those dots this is a very like muted color on this other red because it's not much difference with the shade of each color so and we'll do that very careful and not go in that green there I'd be daggone I did it and didn't even go in it I better not talk too soon because watch me go in the green. All right, that's working out fantastic. Okay, can y'all see those dots? It's very, very muted. Hey, Miss Ron, did I tell you hey already, girl? Did I already tell you hey? It don't matter. I can tell you hey more than one time. Um, I'm going to put a dot there and you're going to barely be able to see that dot because that is where one of the seeds to the world of melon is going to go. And then we got one more dot that we're going to do like right here, y'all. Right there. I think I feel like I need to have a small one coming off about right there. Kind of like a half of a dot. Right there. Straighten the sucker out. But I also I teach you how to set up a Facebook business page. I teach you, y'all see them? Teach you how to set up an Etsy shop. We talk, we do talk a lot of business inside the scoop. Um, I always tell the ones that's in there just for a hobby that if there's something that you don't want to do for business, I mean, just ignore all the business stuff and just enjoy the painting. You're not like... You don't have to watch the business trainings and stuff if you're not wanting to do this as a business. To me, that's just that's the extra bonuses. And um, I've got like that completely dry because y'all see my red going on on my green. Hey, Miss Tammy. Hey, Miss Lynn. Hey, Miss Vicky. All right, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna just let that sit there for a minute. Now let's go ahead and dry it so I can just go ahead and put this paintbrush up too. Lobby was a little bit closer like if I could if I had to go to Florence more often I would probably choose Apple Barrel like I would use more Apple Barrel than anything but Walmart is so close to me y'all if I get paint on my nose because it's starting to itch y'all don't laugh at me just tell me I got paint on my nose it'll be all right um because I do think that I like Apple Barrel's coverage better than I mean I think I like Deco Arts coverage better than I like Apple Barrel. All right, so I'm going to get this lemon. I'm going to use this lemon um, by Apple Barrel. And this one is the outdoor multi-surface one. So some, a lot of people that does door hangers, they don't really like using the gloss. 
Um, I have certain ones that I'm okay with when it comes to the gloss. Why is that brush so stiff? This one though, I highly recommend. Um, Y'all look how bright, when you put that white paint down, look how bright this yellow is. I think that this is a really good color for a softball. So if you've ever wanted to find a good softball color, the lemon by Apple Barrel is a really good color for a softball door hanger. All right, so we're just gonna spread this out real smooth and slow. I did get a good bit of paint going on there. I'm just trying to do it slowly so I don't have any paint running off the edge of my wood because I did get it pretty thick. Just squirt out a little bit too much at one time. So I'm just gonna keep on going back and forth with long strokes to, to just smooth that out, y'all. It's not a big, big deal. If you just work it out I don't know if it kind of smooths it on the wood or if you just keep on pushing it into your paintbrush. I almost think you just keep on pushing it into your paintbrush because look at all that paint that's in my brush. So just work it through and it will smooth out. Whether it's going on there or if it's going up in your paintbrush, it's, it's smoothing out. So it's doing what it needs to be doing. All right, that may be the only coat I even put on that. I'm gonna go ahead and put that up here. Since I used that green there, we're gonna use that same green to do our leaf with here. Um, yep, yep, yep. I'm going to get this brush. Ooh, I'm about out of that green. Over here, so let me add a little bit more that I am going to get. A little bit of this marsh green. Hey, hey ladies. Hey, Miss Tamara. No, Teresa. Teresa, I thought she was Miss Tamara. I was about to say she's coming on here to get on me because I forgot to drop her door hanger off today. <laughs> <coughs> but. All right, so we're just kind of just double loading. Not really double. Well, we're double loading, but. Not really good double loading. Like I'm not working it into my bristles on my brush to double load here. But you can see the two different shades of green there. And I am gonna go in with just that lighter color right here. And I am gonna go in just with that darker color right here on my edge. Some of the techniques that you are taught in the inside scoop, I mean, we do a lot of different things. Um, we've done floating in there, if you've never heard of floating. Oh my goodness. Um, that is a whole nother level, y'all. Whole nother level. But I will say that that was so much fun to, um, to do. I kind of did my research and stuff on YouTube and did a tutorial with what I learned on YouTube. And then we had a guest come in that knows her stuff about floating. And she taught us all about floating and stuff. And y'all, I'm telling you, that stuff is so cool. Like it is super cool to know that you can take a little bit of water on your paintbrush and move your paint just around. Move it, make a straight line. Like there's a technique, a floating technique that I could take this paint here and I can take it and put it, my like get the water and work this line here to where it's just a 
really thin line that goes down with that darker green. Y'all, it is so stinking cool. Um, so if you don't join to watch it in my inside scoop, get on YouTube and search floating. Um, you know what, since we did all that, maybe I need to do that in my watermelon too. I think I may need to, just on that one edge here. So let's do that, y'all. I'm going to do a quick and easy Trina shading style because y'all know I'm all about quick and easy. But I really did. I thought that was just the coolest thing how you can use water to kind of like move your paint around. I mean, that's literally what you're doing when you're floating is you're using water to move, what am I doing? To move that paint around. And it is so cool. So if you've never tried that, give it a try. But we have different techniques like that. We do, we have done a ton of hand lettering. Um, in the scoop, I have a whole module about hand lettering, the faux calligraphy. I am definitely not no pro when it comes to hand lettering, but I like to get on there and just let the ladies see like how I'm learning my hand lettering. And I think that really helps them and motivates them when they see that, that I still have to practice my hand lettering. It's not something that just, it's definitely not something that I was just born with I mean, like, I was born with, like, the sloppiest, hand, sloppiest handwriting you would ever see a female write. Um, but I've got a lot better. Not as good as I want to be yet, because I'm still practicing on that. But I've gotten a lot better than what I was a year ago, y'all. So we do do the hand lettering as well. Okay, I think that kind of spruced my watermelon up, y'all. Don't y'all think it kind of spruced my watermelon up? I think it did. Um, oh, y'all, I'm missing so many comments. I'm so sorry. I would have to come back and read them because I am in my zone, y'all. I am just a chit chat and talking and creating. So, good thing to, a good zone to be in, I'll tell you that. All right, so there's my watermelon, there's my lemon. We're going to come and I'm going to put my brown. I'm gonna put a brown stem on my lemon lemon. I'm gonna grab that brown that I've got over here, because why waste it? Um, right, so there's that. I may have to put another coat, but I don't think I am. Now, let's see, what is our next step gonna be? What else do we wanna add, y'all? Let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and do my black seeds for my watermelon. That was a lemon slice, ladies. Jesse, do y'all remember this design where this was the lemon slice? Well, we've turned it into a slice of watermelon. I just felt like I wanted watermelon instead of the lemon, and we're gonna add the big old, um, some big old seeds right here because I got this etched, and so it's got the like the sections of the lemon etched in here. So I figured, you know what? I could just turn it into big old seeds. I think it would be just okay.
and I'm really liking the way it's looking so far. And I'm also thinking that I'm going to put some wording on here. I'm thinking summer vibes. What do y'all think? Summer vibes. Y'all shoot me some sayings that y'all think would go good with this. Country living would also go really good with this. Watermelon crawl, but then we do got the lemon there. Somebody needs to do a watermelon design with the watermelon crawl on it. If you do, y'all, y'all got to shoot it to me so I can see it. I think that would be kind of hilarious. Am I looking like a watermelon with big old chunky seeds, y'all? If it's looking like a watermelon with big old chunky seeds, then it is looking like I had in mind. There's a watermelon. There's a watermelon. Y'all, I'm gonna have to force myself to go to Hobby Lobby because I am about out of paint. About out of white paint. And I've got to say that the white apple brown I mean, deco art paint has became my favorite, y'all. It's became my favorite white anyway. So I'm adding a little bit of white to my seeds here on one side and bringing it around to the other side, like on the bottom, and then I'm bringing it around to this side here. And I'm just making sure that I'm blending it really good to where it's not like a solid white line. I'm going to take a little bit of that white and just kind of go in the center and blend it towards that side that I just put that white at. Just to kind of get that to pop a little bit more on that side. Every time I get on here, I start sniffing and I start coughing. Alrighty. I'm liking the way this is looking so far, y'all. Right, can y'all see that? Um, Christine Smith, no ma'am, not deal. Okay, I'm missing y'all's whole conversation, y'all. I'm so sorry. I will have to check y'all in a bit. But I will check your comments. <clears throat> Alright, so instead of wasting my time sitting and doing it, I'm going to grab this darker green. Do I want to do that? I'm going to grab that darker green. Which was that marsh green. I'm going to add, I said I wasn't going to do the stripes. 
Yeah, I am. Yeah, I am. I'm going to do the stripes. These are kind of thin, small stripes. And then I'm going to probably do the black wiggly line to separate the two. I think that's what I'm going to do. So yeah, y'all just talk amongst yourselves and I will catch y'all's conversation just as soon as I can get up and just take a look at it. All right, so there's the stripes on the watermelon. Now, we're gonna leave the watermelon alone while all that good stuff dries. We're gonna go ahead, let's add our yellow dots because I want a different shade of yellow on top of this. Do we want to do yellow dots? Let's, why not? Let's do yellow dots. Let's do, let's see, we did the lemon. I don't think the yellow is going to be too much of a different color. So let's grab a different shade of yellow. I think I'm just, oh no, that's going to be too much. Um, Let's try, we've got this golden yellow, but then we also have, have this dandelion yellow. I think this dandelion yellow is probably going to be more of the color that I want to have on the dots. So here we go, we're going to do that. We're going to start right here and we're going to put a dot. Because I don't want these dots to be, I want it to be just like they were in the watermelon. So, you know what? Let me make these a little bit bigger so we don't have to do quite as many. So, let's make these a little bit bigger than the ones that we did in the watermelon. There we go. There we go. I'm liking that. For sure. For sure. Okay, so those have kind of like made this one look small. So let's make this one look a little bit bigger. We're going to make it look a little bit bigger. There we go. We're gonna do this one right here. I'll bring this around. Y'all probably seeing all my double chin right now. Okay. Can y'all see the dots? They're very muted. Whew, I can't really see them on the camera. Hey, Regina. Okay, so let's do, we're gonna do a dot right here. That one's looking a little bit smaller than the rest, so we're gonna just make that a little bit bigger. Do y'all, when y'all paint, do y'all kinda like talk yourself through steps? Kinda like what I do here. I know I had y'all on camera, but even if it was just me, and I might not should be telling y'all this, but even if I was in here painting by myself, I would still be talking myself through these steps. I really would. I would be like, let's take it this way. Let's do this color. Let's add that color. We're gonna do a little bit more. Like just adding a little bit more on top of that. I've always heard that it's okay if you talk to yourself but if you start answering yourself, then you might want to get yourself checked out. Okay, do y'all see those dots now? They're very, very light. I can see them like really good in person. Okay. Now, 
let's add y'all this is gonna like I'm a little bit scared but I think it's y'all I just think it's gonna be I think I'm gonna like it I think I'm gonna like it I'm just wondering you know what it don't have leaves and I might have just got paint there too but I think I'm going to add all right, well, I'll, I'll be off my live in a couple minutes, but it won't be too much longer. Love, Love you too. I think I'm just going to add leaves right here. Like really simple little leaves. Right here. And maybe one like. There. Ooh. And then let's see, we got this one. So let's add, let's add one on this side. Just like that. And one there. What do y'all think about the leaves? I don't know. In a way, I wish I wouldn't have added the leaves, y'all. But they're there, so we're going to deal with it. Because I'm not crazy over it. All right, so we're going to take this apricot, y'all, and we're going to go crazy with it. We're going to put the center of these flowers with apricot. Okay. We're gonna do one because I may have to, yeah, I'm thinking I'm gonna have to probably, I think it's gonna pop more if I do a white coat first, y'all. So let's just grab up a paintbrush. Let's do a white coat of paint first in the center of these flowers. And then we will come back with the apricot on top of this white. So do I have any questions from y'all about the inside scoop? It does close tonight. I'm going to try to wipe that off. Does close tonight and won't open back up until the end of September. I'm at the end of August for September. It's forty dollars a month and it's set on reoccurring payments, but you can cancel anytime you get ready to cancel. You do not have to stay in the scoop. You can try us out for a month and then. If you don't like it, you can cancel any time. We're going to give those a quick dry. Did Miss Susie say something about joining? Because Miss Susie, if you join, I would cancel your membership for the template club because once you join the scoop, 
starting next month, you will be getting the Template Club for free. We decided just to sweeten everything up for my insiders because they're my people and um, just offer the Template Club to them for free. All right, y'all. This is looking a little bit, mm, not really sure, but we're not gonna judge it till we're completely done. I might be wishing that I would've just kinda went with the regular style looking flowers, but we're gonna see. We're not gonna knock this until we're completely done with it. Cause I am going to probably add some like um, little white centers on this gold here or apricot. This apricot reminds me of some kind of shade of gold. That's definitely gonna have to have one more coat. One more coat right here. And don't worry, I mean, if you're not able to join the inside scoop and you just, because you just like, um, just like watching people paint, paint because y'all, it is very relaxing just to watch someone paint. Um, I am determined to be a little bit more consistent for my ladies on here, for all of my supporters. Because by you just hopping on this live with me, y'all, that supports me and helps me with the algorithm. Even if you just hit the little like or show me some hearts, and you know, especially if you comment, if you sprinkle, I mean, y'all, that kind of stuff helps me out so much. So. Even if you don't join the inside scoop, I'm gonna to try to um, start being a little bit more consistent with hopping on here with y'all and painting because I really do enjoy it. Now it's just it's so hard sometimes, but I've got to gotta just start start making time to to do it more often, at least once every week at least. I had a goal to twice a week, but. It's a little big for me with my family right now. So my new goal is going to be at least once a week. Hop on here with y'all just to chit chat and paint and not try to sell you my inside scoop. <laughs> Although it's an amazing group and I would love to have you. But I do just enjoy coming on here and chit chatting with y'all. Okay. I don't know y'all. Don't look too awfully bad. I mean, it's, is different is different all right so now let's see what I want to do I think I'm definitely I think I'm gonna add like the black outline like a very small black outline around Ooh, that I know I had a wipe I must have thrown away my green was completely dry there So I'm going to add a little black outline. Like around these flowers. So it'll kind of get the shape of the flowers.
that did kind of like make it pop a little bit more. Um, do that then I'm going um let's see this we got the outline around that and I'm going to also add it on my wool melon going to add it on my wool melon I think doing the wiggly line really makes the whimsy stand out a little bit more. So what do y'all think? I'm gonna say summer vibes. What do you think about the word summer vibes? I do have a blue pasta pen that I can put summer vibes, or blue or black. I've got the blue flowers. I'm thinking maybe, thinking maybe black. So let's see if this chalk I don't, I don't think that chalk's going to show up good enough. We've got it centered here. So we've got to do... Summer... I don't like that. Um, I did that really too big. A lot of people don't like using a pencil, y'all. Um, chalk is really easy because you can, you know, wipe it off really quick. But if you do use a pencil, like these little pink erasers are like really good to erase those off. It works wonders. Um, I'm not liking my summer here either. I think the placement's wrong. So I'm probably going to grab a, my chalk. How do y'all feel about the, the word summer vibes? What do y'all think? Summertime in the living is easy. Hey, ladies. Um, let's see. Let's do. I can't see that chalk. I'm going to just dive right in. I'm just going to do it with my pencil and hope that I don't have to redo it again. But if I do, let's 
okay. Summer. Summer vibes. Oh Lordy, here we go, y'all. Here we go. Be crazy. Go on, you little jumping fly, whatever you are. Sorry y'all, hand lettering is slow pace. We had the, that paint pen is about gone. I have to kind of take it slow, especially like with me, y'all. I am still getting used to hand lettering. I know I had another one, where'd it go? So I am super, probably, a lot slower than a lot of people. Um, but I don't have, I'm clear I thought I had another one. But that's okay. I just haven't used them in a while. I definitely got to get me some more paint pans order. Um, oh, show. Go on, little bulbs. We are rolling now, y'all. We are rolling now. Summer vibes, y'all. I knew that thing on the drive. Let's see something over here. I 
did go up on my watermelon a little bit. When I didn't really want to do that, but I don't think it messed it up. All right, so summer, and now I'm gonna go vibes. I don't know why, I just really wanted to do summer vibes for some reason. So summer vibes. And I want to do my V, y'all. I meant my I wiggly. Like, I don't want to keep it just straight for the eye. I want to make it wiggly. Um, just because I think it's going to be fun. So, I'm going to do a wiggly eye here. And I'm going to thicken it up. Thingies clinging everywhere. When I'm hand lettering, ah, uh, there is that window. It's got to still be letting bugs in. There's something there now. I like to mix my fonts up. I don't like just to stick to one. Because I think it makes it fun when you can mix them up. So summer. Vibes. And I know this is backwards to y'all, but I'm going to flip it as soon as I get it done. So y'all can see it the correct way. Alright, Summer Vibes. Now we're going to add our S right there. Okay, Summer Vibes. I think I like that, y'all, but I'm not sure. Let me, I'm gonna flip it. Um, thank you, Jesse. Let me flip it so y'all can see this. Okay, so this is it, Summer Vibes. See, I just, I don't know, I just think it made it fun. Let's dry that really quick. And then I'm going to put my white highlights in my words. I might give it a big bow. I don't know. Here we go. We're going to, some of that don't look dry. We'll come here, we're gonna put some highlights. Just like that. I am gonna come, probably put some wiggly lines in my lemon here because those lemon, those dots is very hard to show up. And 
and we're going to comb. So we are now doing the finishing touches. This is the part where this is going to make it, make you love it or make you hate it. One or the two, y'all. So. I think I do like it, y'all. I think I really like it. So what do y'all think of the finish? The finished summer vibes. And then, oops. Yes, I think I do like it. See it from a distance. Let me let y'all see it from a far away. Okay, here we go. So here we go. I think I do like it, y'all. I think I like it. And I'm probably, honestly, to make this more of like my style, I'm probably gonna take it outside tomorrow. And some of y'all may think I'm crazy. Um, but I'm gonna sand over all of this and probably like bring out the wood a little bit in the lemon, maybe a little bit on one of these flowers even maybe on like sand this off on the watermelon because I don't know I just I love the whimsy and farmhouse kind of mixed together so that's probably what I'm gonna do and I will share a picture with y'all when I do that thank y'all so much for hanging with me um, I appreciate y'all and remember tonight is the last night to join the inside scoop uh, until the end of August. It's $40 a month. Um, set up on reoccurring payments, but you can cancel anytime you get ready to cancel. I do have it set up to where if you don't want to do it monthly, you can do it um, quarterly. Um, I don't know, is that called quarterly? Every six months or is that every three months? But it's six months for two hundred dollars and that's giving you one month free and the full year is four hundred dollars and that's two months free thank y'all so very much um you get two templates in the inside scoop each month two tutorials on me showing you how to paint those two templates step by step a tutorial on me showing you how to use a jigsaw to get your templates cut out each month we have a live q a we have a cha um, creative challenge coordinator in there that's going to be creating challenges for all of you in there to participate in so you can get some happy mail. And then I've hired another team member um, to be a group manager in there. Miss Jessie, you, you may have seen her on here. She was so sweet and kind, and she came on my page live the other night. So if you didn't catch her, you need to go check her live out. It should be like two or three posts down below this one. Um, so she's going to be in there to make sure that everything's straight, that everybody's getting questions answered, and everybody understands how the group works. When you become an insider, you also become a member of my Creator Havens Template Club, where you get three printable templates a month and one tutorial for one of those three templates in that club. So you're getting five templates, three painting tutorials, one cutting tutorial for the inside scoop, live q a challenges more importantly y'all you get a community and on top of all of that good stuff you're also getting um a lot of business tips and tricks tricks um tutorials on how to do paypal how to send invoices using paypal how to set up an etsy shop how to ship using pirate ship how to box your door hangers how to set up a facebook business page um and we talk a whole lot about business y'all so we also keep on having some girls night in where we just kind of get together and chit chat. We may have an adult drink and just have fun. So 
a lot of other things goes on in the group, hand lettering, um, there's just so much, but you will get two years worth of tutorials, crafts that we've done in the past. Um, we no longer do crafts as of right now. The cost of wood and just the availability of getting wood is just ridiculous right now. So we've decided we're gonna kinda lay off with doing crafts right now, but you've got over two years worth of different crafts that you can do if you wanted to. Um, I think that's it. That's a lot, y'all. So that's a lot for only $40 a month. So give me a try. Give my ladies that's in there a try. I promise you, you won't be disappointed with the friendship that you're going to create. Um, and I hope you're not disappointed with me, but I do try my best. And um, I think that's it. That's it, y'all. I'm going to let y'all get off here because I feel like I've had you on here for a while. What time is it? I feel like I've been on here for a long time. Oh, wait, 9.32. I got on here. It's after 8. Okay. But you can hit the little link in the comment down below that Miss Christine Smith posted. Miss Christine is my virtual assistant. Um, she's amazing. Click that link. Head over there and join. And hopefully I will be seeing y'all in the scoop. All right. Thanks, ladies.